Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Return to Castle Wolfenstein on the Oculus Quest. Now Dr. Beef, he's a really cool modder, he's got the game working on the quest. Um, it's really easy to get up and running, and the first thing you need to do, if you want to play the full game on the quest, you will need to buy the full game on Steam. I brought it last night, £4. If you don't have the game on Steam, you can still play the demo on the quest. The mod for this game should be out later today on SideQuest. So um, keep checking SideQuest, you'll get an update. And you should see the Return to Castle Wolfenstein in the quest main window. Now if you head over to Dr. Beast's website, he's got a really handy guide here, look. Uh, this is the link, I'll leave links to the website in my description below the video. Uh, follow these instructions, I did this last night really really easy um, when you boot up side quest you should be able to see on here on the main page return to castle wolfenstein i was lucky yesterday that dr b sent me a link to the uh, mod already so i already have the mod installed and downloaded so basically you'll go to side quest you'll download the mod and you'll install it on side quest you will need to connect your quest to your pc via the uh, the link cable and if my suspicions are right, you should be able to just click the VR mod and it should install onto your Oculus Quest. Now if you want the full PC game on your Quest, you will need the PC version of the game. It's really easy to do. There's a really good tutorial here, look. Again, it's the same thing. You need to run SideQuest and this time you go into your Manage Files on the headset. Find the Quake main directory. And then if you go into your Steam, I've got it all set up here, ready, look. So this is the uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common, return to a castle, Wolfenstein. Uh, this is the game folder. If I click on main, now the website is telling me to drag these files up, paco.pack3, sp.pack1. So find these files, really easy. Hold down control, select them all, and then just drag them all over onto your quest. And now you've got the full game on your quest ready to play. Now there's one more step that um, Dr. Beef recommends, and that's to download the HD textures and the AI improvement mod. I um, downloaded and installed the HD textures last night. It looked really nice in VR on the quest with these HD textures. Um, I've only installed the AI improvement mod this morning. Uh, that makes the AI in the game, the bad guys, a lot more intelligent um, and a lot harder to kill. Um, I've not tried that yet. I installed that this morning. So I'm about to record for my first time playing the game with these um, advanced AI. So that should be interesting. Make sure you go to this website. Again, there's a link here, look. Go to the mod database and you want this um, Venom V6 5.2 RTC W Quest VR Edition. Just download that, save it on your PC somewhere. Again, I've got that already saved lot. Just extract it onto your PC. Follow the instructions and then just drag them across onto your Quest. It should take you about 10 minutes to do all this. Really easy, there we go lot. So all I need to do is to drag these um, files over onto my quest. You do need to transfer the files separately, so go into the, the Venom mod, drag these files, drag them to your quest into the game folder, go back, go into the improved AI folder and do the same again. Just drag these files onto your quest and you should have everything up and running if you've done everything right. If you get stuck. Dr. Beef does have a Discord, so I would highly recommend you go to the Discord. If you have any problems, um, this website tells you about all the controls for the game. It's really easy to follow and do. I had no issues at all. I, I got the game up and running within 10 minutes. Uh, a big thank you to Dr. Beef for allowing me to show you guys the game early. I'm going to jump into the quest now. I'm going to record some gameplay. And I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, I'm in the quest. I need to go into my uh, unknown sources and find the uh, the mod. So if I go into Oculus Apps, scroll down, unknown sources. Uh, in here somewhere, there we go, look, RTCW Quest. Click that and we'll be in the game. I'm going to skip all the uh, intros and the cutscenes, guys. Okay, so if you downloaded the HD texture pack, you'll have a really nice looking menu here. I'm going to show you guys the options quickly. At the moment, this screen is all in 2D, it's so like a little curved screen. Okay, VR controls. Um, because I've got the AI on harder, I'm going to put laser sights on my guns. You can adjust the height as well in the game. I've got smooth turning on. I'm going to be turning around in my play area anyway. Okay, so go back. I'm going to start a new game. Okay, here we are in the game. Look at this. How cool is this? I'm in Wolfenstein, guys. I'm in the prison. I've got a knife. Um, if you want to know the controls of the game, all the controls are on that website I showed you. If you scroll down, it tells you what all your buttons do and everything. Um, I've only got a knife at the moment. I'm going to pick up this pistol. Uh, my height's about right. I was playing the game last night, sitting down, I adjusted my height so that I felt like I was standing up, it was really really cool. As you can see I've got a laser pointer on my weapon. Uh, the reason why I've got a laser pointer is because um, the enemies are a lot harder now, a lot more intelligent. And I don't want to die straight away so... Okay, if you can interact with anything in the game, a little hand icon appears on your screen by opening doors so if you see a little hand icon that means you can activate something okay let's go up here okay there's a scientist guy in here I'm going to try and kill him with a headshot Okay, I've alerted the guards. I'm out of bullets, I need some more bullets. Yeah, if you see a hand icon appear like here, look. That means you can interact with the objects. You hold down your right thumb stick. I am now Dr. Frankenstein. I need some more ammo. Let me just pick up these. Um, got some more bullets for my weapon. Open the gate. Now don't forget the AI are a lot smarter now. I've added the uh, enhanced AI mod. Okay, let's take this guard out. Where is he? And they are trying to flank me now. He's trying to get behind me, look. Let's go through here. Can I go through here? That's locked. Okay, we can destroy these um, radios. Let me grab a better weapon. There's a... There we go. Machine gun. And uh, these weapons are dual-handed guys. You can hold these with both hands up. Look at that. How cool is that? So I'm holding this like a normal 
machine gun. I can hear them wandering around. Let me just check there's no more ammo anyway. Grab a health pack if you need it. Combat feels really nice. I've got haptic feedback on my mouse controllers, so these weapons are all vibrating, guys. Okay, there's a note here. And you can destroy all the uh, propaganda. It's a good idea to uh, destroy propaganda, guys. There might be hidden locations behind the uh, pictures. Okay, this is awesome. This is epic. I can't thank um, Dr. Beef enough for this mod. Okay, we're now outside. Check the perimeter. Okay, that's not good. The alarm's gone off. Okay, up or down? Let's go down first. Okay, if you find the game too hard with this mod, they do recommend you um, disable the mod. I need some health. Okay, I find a secret. Grab all the ammo. I'm being hunted, guys. Okay, we're back here. This is where we started. That's locked. So that's like a one way. Okay, health. Oh, you do have a kick button as well. You can kick with your left leg lock. If you hold down the left thumb stick, you can kick as well. Guards above me. I'm out of bullets. Uh, that's not good. Run, 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 run. I need some ammo quick. I'm being shot. Try and take this card out with my knife. Stop, stop, stop. Stop him. Okay, that was hard. You got any bullets for me? Okay, I've got some pistol ammo. 4% health, I'm gonna die.
Okay, I need to be really careful now. I'm dead. So uh, these mods make the game a lot more challenging, as you can see. And like I said, if you find the game too hard, too difficult, just remove the mod. Okay, let's go for a headshot. Headshot. Is that that guy? I'm looking for ammo. Check all the shelves. And check all the cells as well. You never know, there might be some spare ammo lying around. I'm out of ammo again. Stab him. Stab him. Come here. Stab him. Come here. Okay. Get some health. Grab the rifle. I do seem to have a lot less ammo than I did when I played the game last night. I think it's the, the mod I'm using. Okay, any pistol ammo? Yep. Okay, destroy that. Up we go. Let's try and get a bit further this time. They've done a really good job with this mod as well. Okay, I've not alerted the guards this time. There's no sirens. So I shouldn't have guards hunting me. I can hear someone coughing. Okay, headshots. I've alerted the guards. Okay, let's go up. Go to the top. Okay, I've got plenty of ammo now. Okay, we're going down. Yeah, the guards have been alerted. Dead again. Okay guys, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. This game is kicking my ass with the AI mod. I'm going to have to uh, remove it, I think, to, to play the game. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Ah, there you are. <laughs>